So today we're going for a mountain goat hunt because I really wanted to focus on them. I mentioned a couple of times now that I think they're maybe the best model on this new map. And the other thing is if we just look at my map quickly, I was going to do pronghorn, but I kind of have a ton of hunting pressure down there. So we'll worry about that later. And we're actually starting with a decent four. So not max weight, max weight's 145 for them, but we'll take him out and a bunch of mule deer down there and stuff. We'll see if there's more around here, but I wanted to start up here like in the far north because it seems like there's a lot of mountain goat that use this particular lake and there's a couple of males over there as well. But we'll see what else is around before we shoot those. So he's the white variant. I've seen a bunch of different uh, like common fur color variations for the mountain goat since I've been streaming the map and everything. There is actually a common color, but there's also I think white, beige, and light brown as the different ones that I've seen, and I think light brown's my favorite. They look like kind of just the normal color of mountain goats that I've seen, like, mounted and stuff in real life, but I guess maybe we'll just pick the highest estimate of these level threes, which would be that one. And I think there's a mountain lion over there because he's alert, so we'll try to hurry this up. I think that'll be good. Yeah, he's going to go down pretty quickly, so got a couple from this spot. This guy's definitely one of those other color variations. He's not what we already had. Yeah, he's the light brown that I really like. I just think this is, like, the most realistic color of Mountain Goat that I've seen for the commons, which is really cool. But speaking of them, and before I forget, I wanted to mention and show that we shot a Melanistic Mountain Goat on the Twitch stream yesterday. Uh, it was just a little female, and somehow I managed to drop it on the run after missing it on the first shot while I was fleeing, but... I did forget to taxidermize that, we won't get to actually see it in the trophy lodge. I think I'm just so used to um, not taxidermizing females that I just forgot, but I do want to head down here and see if there's any mountain goats here. A lot of the mountain goat hunting I've done has been in their feed time, because I've usually gone from the pronghorn drink time, which ends at 10, to mountain goat, which they drink till 11, but then a lot of that ends up being feed time. But and this is the place where we shot the Melanistic, and there were a ton of mountain goats over here, so I want to see if there's any new respawns, because we shot a bunch of them as well. And once again, they're everywhere. There's another four, but there's a bunch down on that end. There's some that drink, like, over here, some on this side, and then there should be, like, a big herd that drinks right there. And I don't know if there's going to be any big ones. I haven't shot that many out of this herd, because they're sort of difficult to get maybe more than one. But I think that front one there might be one of the best ones. So we'll try to get it. Actually, there's one there I hadn't seen, but that's a little one. So let's get this one first. That should definitely be at least a lung hit. I don't even know where the one we shot went. One died, so wherever it is, we got it. Uh, these ones don't know anything happened. I guess we'll just get this level two. And then I want to try to get that four, which is kind of far. So we'll get down here a little closer to where these ones were, now that we're not going to be risking spooking ones that we haven't seen. And we'll take that longer shot. So that'll be right about 300 meters then. And I do need to get the Argus scope still, but I haven't been uh, saving money for that. I've been worrying about like trying to get things taxidermized and try to show you guys you know, as much as I can in the Trophy Lodge and all the different stuff that's coming with this new map. But... I still have no idea where that first one we shot got to, but that's the two, so we'll get that and then maybe we can see. Oh, it's just there in the brush, but we'll uh, actually go and get that first, I guess, because we can go around that way. And yeah, that was actually a big female, so females go to level three, and that's only about five away from gold, so I'm thinking it might be possible to get a gold female, which, you know, if I'm going to end up getting like a rare female mountain goat, I would hope that it would end up being a golden, having that kind of luck, so maybe that's a thing. There are just so many here, it's insane, but most of these are nervous drinking. And I don't want to do too much hunting pressure, because that's kind of what I messed up doing with the pronghorn yesterday. Because it was between the stream and today's video where I was just trying to shoot stuff to get respawns. And by the way, there's the uh, common variant, just to show that. But yeah, there's just so much pressure still left down there in a lot of those areas that I didn't want to go add more doing a pronghorn hunt today, but as long as we don't shoot too many up here for the mountain goats, we can probably come back on stream, because I'm actually recording this right before I'm going to be streaming it, which means I don't really want hunting pressure too high anywhere. But that's another light brown 
level 4. It does seem like it's maybe one of the more common of the, like, common fur variants. But I do like it. I keep coming to this lake hoping that there's going to be mountain goat here. It's this little lake, like, there's a lodge here right off a cliff, and it just seems like a perfect mountain goat lake, but they never seem to be here. A couple of bighorn, I think they're all females? I actually can't say I've shot a female bighorn yet, so I'm kind of curious to see, like, how their horns kind of match up with their heads, so I might do that. One of them will stand still for long enough to get a shot at it. That'll work. That's a fur variation I haven't seen yet, so that's a dark brown. I actually think they may have a slightly different model for the females, I'm not sure. But it looks like they do, and I actually think the female sheep look good. I think it's just those males that need a little bit of work, but yeah. That's definitely the first female bighorn sheep I've seen, and I'm definitely happy with those. But I think, yeah, it's this lake, right? This lake has mountain goat drink zones, which it seems like it should be too far south, but there should be some down here. So I don't know if it's, like, because I'm coming from that outpost and maybe they all drink, like, closer to it than I realize and a bunch of them will spook. But there's at least, like, a good-looking three over here that apparently was not spooks, so when he lifts his head, you know what? I feel like I better keep that in the side. I was going to try to go for a hard shot, but they're one of those species where they don't have, like, a super long neck and their kind of jaw and nose area blocks the heart a bit, so... I think that's something I don't need to go for. The M1 seems like more than powerful enough to single lung them and bring them down super quick. But that's a lot of mountain goats. Like, especially this far south, I wouldn't really expect it. We did kill that beige one. It was in our first hunt here, and I was hoping we could maybe get one on this hunt. There's so hard to tell, like, what's what. But maybe one of these could be one? He actually might be, so I'm going to try to get him too. If he'll stop which hopefully he's going to. They're just nervous. I'm assuming they're leaving their drink stones, though, because it's right about 11 o'clock, and this is what I was saying uh, about most of my mountain goat hunting being their feed times. You just don't have a long time to hunt anything drinking on this map, which I do like. Um, I feel like the game is so much focused on drink stones, and this map is kind of breaking that trend. And I think that's a good thing, but yeah, it's just a uh, little difficult to get used to, but... I think we got three at this lake as well. Maybe that first one's actually the beige color. Yeah, yeah, so that's good. So we've seen common, white, light brown, and now beige. I think those are the four, uh, like, common mountain goat fur types. I was hoping we could see all four, like, during this hunt, so that's good. And I think most of the other ones are clear now, but if we can get another one while we're heading up through here, I'll probably try to get a fourth one just because. Hi. How are you behind me? I guess we'll get that one, but I don't know where he came from. And he was actually a beige as well, so go figure. They look a lot like the light browns, but I think the light browns just have a little more, like, realistic feel to them for some reason. I don't know. I think they're the best looking ones. Yeah, because this guy was a light brown. I thought he might have been a beige. I don't know. I just prefer their colors a little bit more. I just think they look good. But our last one should have been up the hill here a little more. And it's kind of like what I was saying. We're already into mountain goat feed time. So we're kind of going to be uh, missing out on our last area drink zones. But that one was a beige. So at least one of the two that I was shooting at up here actually was. But we're going to go to this lake here. Because I think it's the last lake that I have an outpost for. Where I'm sure there's mountain goats that use this uh, lake for zones. Oh, that's a five? With actually a really big score estimate. The way he's laying there, I really didn't notice that he was that much bigger. But to be honest, I can kind of see it now. And I think he might be that light brown fur type that I really like. So, I'm going to be spooking a bunch of them. There's actually a four there as well. But I want to get up there where I can get a good shot. And I hope I can get him to stand up because I don't really want to take that laying down angle. I've shot so many things just like trying to get money for these videos but I just I don't know I never want to risk those laying down angles so we're gonna scoot in here until he's at least attentive and that should get us close enough to where we can just go ahead and make a decent shot so he's standing up now oh now I can see that he's a really good size one that's 
actually really nice, and up to 128, that's a huge score estimate. He's going to go ahead and feed there, so they don't lift their head a lot when they're feeding, so I think we'll just go for that. And that's a very dead level 5 mountain goat. I can't believe we just ran into that. There's another big 4 up there that's max weight estimate as well, so this is a good spot. But I hope he makes it. I think he should. And I guess the other thing I hope if there's another thing is that he's like that light brown fur type. I don't think he's common and I don't think he's beige. That looks amazing though. Just like a really, really nice horn on that guy. I wonder if I can stomp down that grass. Yeah. Just to get a couple more screenshots because of course this is not one we get to keep. So we can't just have him in our trophy lodge forever. And I want to get some nice screenshots. But yeah, let's see what this guy is. He's a light brown 113 trophy rating diamond. 107 is the requirement. He's about 8 kilos below the max weight. So he's kind of like mid-range diamond, I would say. And I don't know like if there's going to be like a, a notably bigger horn shape than this for like a really big diamond. Maybe it's just like the width and stuff that's going to affect with trophy rating. But that's so cool. And he's the color I wanted. I know, like, I'm going to do my grinding for this or whatever when the map comes out, and I'm going to end up getting one that's not, like, this particular color that I really like, but that's awesome just to run into one in the beta. I think that's just so, so cool. I'm glad we did a mountain goat hunt today. And on that note, I think we're going to wrap this hunt up. I can't believe we had a level 5 mountain goat, which I didn't even realize was a 5, by the way. Just chilling at the last place we we're going to go to, but we have a nice little room going on here. This is a beige one that I guess we shot on stream but definitely a light brown dime is going to look way better in here. I really wish there was a multi-mount for these guys. Um, as of now the only multi-mount I've seen is the turkey one which we looked at in yesterday's video but I don't know even still that looks really cool full body mounted I think I'm just going to do maybe like that pose just since it's like right as you walk in the door and of course I can't keep it it's on the beta so I'm not going to try to set up something super amazing, but honestly, like, a lot of these new animals look really good. We have the elk on the wall, which if you haven't seen those from the stream, that looks really, really nice. The bighorn, I'm hoping some uh, work can get done to them still. But then, like, the mountain goat, the pronghorn, and the turkey, they all look really good. Mount in the trophy lodge, but yeah. First diamond mountain goat, and he's the color I like. Like, I probably am not going to get that lucky when the map actually is released, but... That looks really dang good, but yeah, I think that's going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.